Hello, my name is Rachel Young Chi, and welcome to my channel where I share my art process, mediums, and areas for growth as an artist. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and check out my comments for any resources I share during this video. Follow me on Instagram, and there you can find my website. In my last video, I shared some abstract landscapes that I was working on, and now I'm going to share the process for creating this series. The purpose of this exercise was to try and find a way to see new compositions I might not normally use. So I started with taping off the paper into different pieces, and I started with a large a large brush to create a wash across all of the nine rectangles. Now I broke this piece down into five by sevens and I was hoping that it would be a great way to separate the larger paper so that someday if I really like the pieces I could put them in frames. Um, where I made the mistake was that I was creating compositions within each of the rectangles instead of creating one big composition, which after you remove the tape is supposed to reveal some compositions that you might not have thought of or used, be used before. Some of them you might like, some of you might not, but again, I could not separate the sections and I was, as you can see, um, putting, making each piece its own separate composition. You can see that I tried to separate the pieces into one big composition with that blue, but then I went straight back to creating the different pieces into their own artworks. I used paint to add some details in front and behind um, the leaves that I already have. And with a abstract landscape, um, it's fun to just make up your own shapes for anything that is growing in your abstract piece. Here you can see I have removed the tape and started cutting my artworks into their own pieces. Once I was done with separating the pieces, I went back in with my acrylic markers and gel pens to add tiny details and variety. I could define shapes, add more layers, and um, this is a really fun part of the process for me. When I was done with all my details, here you can see me adding a spray varnish onto all eight of the pieces. Um, I like to use spray varnish on top of my gel pens and acrylic markers just so they don't smear, as opposed to uh, brushing them on, brushing the varnish on. Next day, I went outside and I used 
a board and a white paper to place my artwork on top of. Then I put a clear acrylic sheet on top of those. That way it lays my paper pieces down flat while I take pictures. Here's a picture of the final pieces outside. I was trying to use this white foam board as a reflective surface to get that bright sunshine um, on all pieces of the paper. I brought the pieces inside, and here's a photo of all the pieces laid out on that white paper. The um, 24, 18 by 24 frames I buy, um, poster frames I buy, come with, of course, that white generic um, artwork inside, that white paper. And so I just used that and turned it over to take pictures of my art on. Uh, here's a video of me back outside. These are all the really close-up details of each piece. Uh, here's a... I think I put these together so I could see the difference between the lighting from the left side is outside and the right side is inside. Um, the pieces are not in the same order because I um, you know, rearranged them when I went back inside. Um, but you can kind of match up a few to see uh, you know, what one's a cooler light, one's a warmer light, more intense or not. Here I am cutting the final edges off to make the pieces exactly 5 by 7. And here I am fitting them into frames. I did get a few different types of frames, but I do think I'll go back and get the same frames. That way it looks like a more cohesive collection. And here's the final collection all framed and ready for show. In the comments, please let me know which in the comments, please let me know which frame you prefer. I do think I like the gold with the mat around it, um, just because it makes it look a little more finished. But I do really like the way that the other frames, the artwork goes straight up to the frame. It really um, just kind of looks like a window um, to the landscape. Uh, so in the comments, let me know which frames you like best. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment. I uh, really appreciate your following and I'll see you in, in the next video. Thank you.